Welcome back, Wastelanders. So, the public test server is live in Fallout 76, in case you hadn't heard. And because of that, we have tons and tons of data mines. And this time, I actually get to participate and share some of those with you guys. All thanks to Mad Doc Grot. You should be following him over at YouTube and at Twitter. And I will link both of those down in the description below. So, give, give him a like and a follow. We have over 100 data mined items to go over, so let's get into it. We have anything from backpack flare to new prefabs to even animated GIFs that show how some new crafting stations work. So make sure to stick around to the end so that way you can see all these brand new items. A couple disclaimers real quick folks so Bethesda can actually make it so we never see any of this stuff so this is all things that's been found in the computer files that does not mean we will be getting it also spoilers do lie ahead so if you do not want to know anything from the season 14 scoreboard I suggest you go ahead and stop watching right now Let's get this video started with some fallout first items first up is a brand new enclave inspired tent by the looks of the inside of this tent, which you'll see coming up, it looks like we're going to have an ammo stash box and possibly a scrap box and regular stash box all inside of this new tent. If you look closely, all the doors are labeled with a different name. Next, we have an Enclave inspired ammo box. This next item I am so excited about. We are finally getting some scrap box skins. Yes, scrap box skins. It looks like we have two of them, which is even more exciting. Let's move on to some of these new collectrons. So up first we have a minor collectron that can be placed at your camp. I've always kind of wanted one of these, so I'm kind of excited to see exactly what they'll actually be mining for, which is kind of cool. We have looks at both the robot and the actual station that the Collectron will be housed in. The next two Collectrons are extremely unique and have people scratching their heads. Up first is the Butterfly Collectron. Unsure about what this will actually collect, so we'll have to see what happens. What do you think it will collect? Put your guesses in the comment section down below. Up next is the cookie jar collectron. I love the design of this. It really kind of makes me laugh. I think it's super cute. But I'm wondering what else is that going to actually collect as well? If I'm not mistaken, we don't have cookies in Fallout 76. We do have desserts. Maybe it will collect cobbler, which is not pie, or possibly some sweet rolls. What do you guys think it will collect? On to some build kits that have been data mined. First up, we have the burned house kit. This one's very unique. There's not a whole lot to it yet, so I'm sure we'll be getting more details in the next few days. But this one is very unique. I do like it. We also have the building kit for the winding path. I'm sure there's plenty of builders that have always wished to have this, and now you will. Next up is another one I think a lot of people have wanted, and that's the White Springs building kit. Yes, White Springs, and we have a ton of White Springs items, so stick around. There's several views featuring the inside and outside of what the windows and roofs will look like. Here's the White Springs foyer floor. Some support posts, columns, or pillars, whatever you'd like to call those. Makes everything look fancy. A counter from White Springs. It looks like this will actually have some bigger pieces included with it. We even found a White Springs fountain. even a White Springs wall light. There's pictures of the light turned on and off. We have some presidential wallpaper, several pictures for most of these items so that way you can see what they look like inside and applied. Oval office wallpaper. Oval office rug. Our commander in chief definitely needs a desk, so a presidential desk. Now this one isn't listed as presidential or over office or white springs, but it kind of matches the whole decor and it's possibly a reward from season 14 as well. Framed flag. A vault tech quilt flag and another American style flag that's also quilted. And a DEFCON light guys, DEFCON. We need to know 
how serious this threat is, especially if we're hiding in our presidential bunker underneath White Springs. Speaking of DEF CON, anybody want a nuke statue? Next is some wall lights that feature super mutants, behemoths, and mutant hounds. This looks to be inspired by the Enclave. Since we had a presidential rug for the Oval Office, why not an Enclave one? Enclave inspired reskin of a stash box. This next Enclave inspired item is definitely one of my favorites. It is a secret door. Looks like it has a bunch of computers on it. It's so cool looking guys. I love how the back of the door fits in with that and it looks like it's got all the computers all hooked up and the wires are back there. So much detail. So great. We have some new shooting targets. Now these are either military toys or they're for the miniature housing set. Either way we're getting some very small tanks and planes and helicopters and the like. We finally have a satellite dish. I know a lot of people will be super excited about this one. I wonder if it'll have any type of animation to it like it'll turn around or anything like that. Looks super cool though. Next up is a light that you can use to call Batman. Just kidding. It's an enclave floodlight or signal light. Next up we have something that looks very Enclave inspired and that is the computer array. Your Enclave inspired camp will be kicked up a notch. Next we have a wall mirror that's lined with bullets. Ring a ding ding! Service bell for anybody? This will definitely be something that people use to troll at your camps. Speaking of ringing, here's an old school style phone. Because if the world's going to end, you definitely need a landline. This is definitely one of my favorite new camp items, and it's a pots and pans rack. Nothing says America like an eagle gun rack. Yes, a gun rack, guys. This new meat scale definitely will fit in with that Helvetia prefab, as you can see in the background. Now you have a place to hack whack and chop your meat. This next one is cute, but weird. It is a Vault Boy inspired balloon station. Are we actually getting balloons? What's happening here? What do you guys think? Give me your best one-liners down in the description, please. Next up, we have plushies. A cute dinosaur and a pig that's actually made of a pig skin, a football. Another pig plushie. All this meat and pig stuff is really giving me some Graham vibes. Is anybody hoping that we get some new Graham rewards for Meat Week? Because I am. This would be cool. Next plushie is a Mr. Rusty. Mr. Fuzzy. This one's pretty cool. I love all the details and how all messed up and scuffed up it is. It is very neat looking, guys. I'm wondering if it's actually plushie size or if it's a bigger camp item. I'm hoping it's a bigger camp item. Maybe we can start a fire inside, inside of it, right? We have bottles filled with mysterious liquids. Some of them may be blood. Next item to add to mind is trophies. Yes, trophies. Now everybody can come in first. With bottles and trophies being given to us, we definitely need display cases. So this is a wine rack display case. And another display case, an armoire. Could probably put our plushies in there too, right? Next, we're finally going to be able to build that kitchen of our dreams. Look at all this kitchen counters and decor, guys. Looks awesome, doesn't it? We have a mutant hound statue. Very fierce looking. A new raider bed was found. Nothing says a good night's rest like skulls. Am I right, guys? You definitely need to be surrounded by those enemies you've defeated. Speaking of skulls, here's a door knocker. This next item looks like a dead person on a rack or a skeleton on a rack. I can't tell if this is going to be a table or possibly a door or if it's just wall decor. What do you guys think it's going to be? Maybe it's a rug. Next, we have another supposed camp display item. It looks like a skull wearing a helmet, but it also looks like it possibly could be something that we wear and they're just displaying it on the skull or maybe the bottom half of the mask is actually a skull. Who knows? Either way, it looks pretty cool. We have some doll heads on a stick. Yes, doll heads. Somebody's obsessed with dolls and those things are normally pretty creepy. At least they've taken care of them. This next item, Mad Doc actually said that he thinks it's going to collect Mothman eggs, but he's unsure. But either way, it's something for those cultists. Next, we have a shrine-type camp item with candles on it. 
Next, we have the Shining Hallway. I mean, a tricycle. It definitely looks like the Shining, though. Look at the carpet. Next, we have some more junkyard items, two more vehicles, a cement mixer truck, and a wonderful forklift. Have you ever wanted an undetonated bomb at your house? Well, now you can have the exact random encounter on your front lawn. We have a bowling arcade game. I'm really wondering if this is going to give us some type of boost, you know, like charisma or something along those lines. What do you guys think? Here is one of those wonderful bowling alleys that we are supposed to get, so it looks like we're still getting them. Next up is one special to my heart, a Beware of Death Claw sign. Yes, so awesome. Then we have a sign that says, Do not do Kims on premises, and they change it to Do Kims on premises. Next, we have a galaxy poster, subliminal starfield messages, maybe, several more paintings and posters. A new skin for the fermenter looks pretty cool to me. A reskinning of the Mr. Fuzzy Tinker's workbench. This time it's red. Tesla inspired power connectors. Be cool if these actually sparked electricity. One of our new season 13 rewards is getting a reskin here, the pyrotechnic kit. I know most of these holidays are pretty far off, but we do have a bunch of holiday items. So up first is the Halloween decor. Really digging that ghost. Some spider webs. This will go perfect in your haunted mansion. If I'm not mistaken, this next item was a previously data mined item. It is a bleeding spine candle. Celebrate your next wasteland birthday in style with this happy birthday banner. Mad Dog had this listed as a Easter basket. Says it's a little late, so maybe it might end up being something else, but nonetheless, a place to display more eggs. Let's get into our prefabs. First up is a makeshift looking prefab that's covered in sandbags, followed by a prefab of what looks like a church tower. Pretty cool looking though, I like it. Next prefab is a trailer. Almost reminds me of a food truck. We have some interior looks at this as well. I like this one a lot. It's very cool. You'll be all the talk of the town, I mean outer space, with this UFO prefab. The inside of this is looking extremely stellar with this wonderful curled or spiral staircase. I really dig it. This next item, Mad Doc wasn't completely sure what it is. It could be a camp item, but it looks like it could also be a loot bag. It is a pretty unique looking loot bag though, pretty neat. This one was also listed as a loot bag. It looks like Army, Hellcats, Nuka-Cola. It's a patch looking bag. I like it. I'd prefer it as a backpack though. What's your opinion? You can drop all your secrets in this Enclave inspired suitcase or briefcase loot bag. Next up is a backpack that is Pioneer Scout based. It's called Squirrel. I'm assuming that we're getting a new badge system. We also have another medic inspired book bag. It looks like something that Dragon Slayer would carry on his back. We have several other skins featuring the same type of box backpack. We have two new military styled backpacks. Both of these are looking really good. Do you like these guys? I, I don't know if I could pick between the two of them. They are really cool. And you can't have your backpacks without your backpack flair. So up first we have a squirrel and a cupcake. Then a tank and a bomb. We have the battle scar pit boy skin. Let's get into some new clothing options. We have a flower power themed hazmat suit and a yellow dress. Next up we have the antiquated wedding dress with what looks like a bullet headband kind of reminds me of the Statue of Liberty or maybe Miss America but you know wartime Miss America this next outfit is by far my favorite thing that I mind from this it is the barbecue pit boss with and without a hat if you look closely and I'm really hoping that this is another possible meat week reward like another new one I really hope it is what do you guys think
let's get into some armor let's start with under armor here it looks like we have the secret service under armor it's going to have the alaskan winter skin and we also have a new skin for our wood armor next we have some super mutant armor this stuff looks so cool it reminds me of very roman-esque or gladiator-esque type armor i really am digging that wonderful helmet this looks to be another season 14 scoreboard reward it's alaskan winter paint for all armor types this next power armor skin is really cool looking i really am digging the helmet and it is the warhead battle scar paint next we have an enclave inspired power armor paint looks a lot like the blackbird paint in my opinion but it does look pretty regal and cool let's move into 100 percent season 14 scoreboard rewards and this is going to be our beer stein the new season 14 scoreboard from the pictures it definitely looks like a bunch of the paintings that we saw will definitely be from the scoreboard as rewards we have a new photo mode pose it looks like a skydiving or a swan dive-esque pose this next item I am speculating is definitely from season 14 as it is a new camp ally and it's a granny. Look at that chair. Look at that wonderful pie. I wonder what she will do for us. Let's get into the weapon skins. We're finally getting another chainsaw paint or skin. My husband will be super excited about this one because he missed out on the last one. A new baseball bat skin that has a fire hydrant attached to it seems a little unnecessary but it looks completely awesome two new assault rifle skins skins for the handmade and pump action shotgun a gat plaz paint we have more weapon skins tesla and light machine gun a new 50 cal skin followed by I am not sure what that is supposed to be a skin for if you guys can speculate down below and let me know what you think it's gonna be for which weapon last but not least let's take a look at these animated crafting stations so the first one looks to be some type of chef he looks like he's going crazy I'm not sure I could he could be trusted with eggs the next one looks like he's a butcher what do you guys think about these things they look wild don't they i really want to know what they do they look super cool though i'm really excited hopefully we get both of these a special thank you to mad doc grob for getting back to me and allowing me to put up this video i really really appreciate you make sure you follow him on twitter and subscribe to him on youtube I really hope that you guys enjoyed that video so if you did please leave me a gigantic vault boy thumbs up and consider nuking that subscribe button on the way out please let me know what is your favorite item that we have data mined so far what can you not live without that you really hope they do release I like a lot of them so let me know your favorite as always thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch my video I love you guys and a special shout out to my channel members couldn't do it without you guys thank you so much I love every single one of you and I will see you in the wasteland